there's just time for the baboons to have a last forage before heading to the safety of the trees. The youngsters have spotted something more interesting, a slender mongoose. It's caught a cobra. It's inadvertently doing the baboons a favor. An accidental bite from the snake would kill any one of the troop. Especially the young and overly inquisitive. As the moon rises in the sky, the mood darkens in the valley below. The hunters are on the move. Fear drives the vulnerable to seek safety. The Puku mother and her calf move onto the open plain, away from the thick scrub. The female baboons lead the troop to a small clump of trees. This will be their sanctuary for the night. After the fallout from the fight, the injured alpha male chooses to sleep away from the rest of the troop. He finds a branch on the edge of the canopy and settles down to sleep. Below, the guinea fowl make a dash for the woodlands that fringe the bend in the river. The night shift starts. The baboons seem safe in their roost tree. It's a hundred feet high with a straight 30 foot lower trunk. Surely nothing can climb this vertical barrier. But they haven't counted on the strength and determination of a young hungry cat. Sharp, two-inch hooked claws make it look easy. <laughs> the breach of the baboon's treetop fortress causes blind panic. The alpha male is separated from the rest of the troop. There's no neighboring tree to escape to. The leopard moves in. The baboon is cornered. A bite to the neck kills the alpha male instantly. The line between life and death in the Luangwa Valley is hair thin. The alpha male has paid the ultimate price for failing to unite the troop under his command. Whoever steps up to take over the role of the new alpha will need to learn from his mistakes.
As the sun rises over the Luangwa Valley, clouds in the morning sky herald a shift in the weather. The dry season is finally coming to an end. It's a new day, a new season, and a new start for the baboon troop. One of the young males woos a female with some grooming. This is now his troop. And he's already ensuring it's a united team. In six months' time, the next generation will be born, securing the troop's future. The puku mother and baby have also survived another night. The last two days have been tough, but the calf has learned some vital survival skills. He's on track to make it through those critical first five months and grow into a powerful young buck. When the rains finally arrive, the puku will move away from the bend in the river onto lush new pastures. But the guinea fowl flock are going nowhere. This corner of Zambia might be a dangerous place to live, but these birds are bold, clever, and good at keeping out of trouble. And what would the neighbors do without the valley's noisiest guardian angels? nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.